In the last 24 hours it's come to light that a couple of guys have been going through the source code for Watch Dogs and they've come across the fact that all the graphical effects that were in the 2012 E3 demo have been in the code for the game the whole time it's been released. They've just been disabled so we can't turn them on. Now I've looked into this a bit more and the guys created a patch that you can include in the game really easily. I'm going to put the link below in the description so you can try it for yourself. And it makes the game look a lot better and it also makes it perform a lot better. So I'm really struggling to understand why Ubisoft kept these things out. The only thing that springs to mind for me is that they wanted to hold back how good the game would look on a well powered PC compared to the supposed next generation consoles which are already outdated by PC hardware. Now I've got no problem with them creating a version for all platforms but if they're gonna hold one back after they've shown footage nearly two years ago back in 2012 at E3 that looked incredible for the finished game to come out restricted or throttled that's not a good move. Now you'll see from some of this footage depth of field effects are turned on. Uh, you'll see here in a minute that dynamic shadows created by headlights and so on, they're all back in now. The water and the rain effects are much improved. The rain at night as you'll see towards the end of the video looks fantastic. The, the whole thing, it hasn't changed the game but it is starting to look a lot better and this patch that the guys created is still in its infancy. I think in the next few days we'll see it develop more and more as he discovers more of the things that are left in and works out how to turn them on because as I understand it he's kind of learning as he goes and he's done a great job so far. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. It's really easy. You just drop and drag two files and change one word within uh, the any file. That's it. And then the game will run like this. And as I said, it runs better. When you drive fast, you still get the occasional stutter that Ubisoft really need to sort out some patching for this because it is unacceptable really. But the frame rate in general has been much more stable for me. Now, I'm from England and we get a lot of rainy weather here, but this game now, with these effects turned on, makes me wish it would rain at night all the time because it, it looks fantastic from the bloom of headlights and the reflection of the lights on the f wet floor to the way the, ro the rain splatters as you can see in the light there it, it looks fantastic I, I, I'm just completely lost as to why they would have turned this off and I hope now this has been discovered very soon they at least release a statement explaining their reasoning for this because it'll only lead people to draw more conclusions, rightly or wrongly, until they do. Now I have heard that using sweet effects with this as well can stop it looking quite so washed out during the day. I haven't tried that yet, that's probably my next step now. But uh, thank you for watching. The description will have the link to installing it. It's really simple. Let me know what you think. I think it's a huge improvement and a step in the right direction to put the graphics where they should have been for this release.